Well, hello, hello, my beautiful wolf pack. Oh, welcome, welcome. If you're new, please hit, sub hit that subscribe, hit that bell button so you can get the notifications, hit those likes, and I appreciate if you share. I thank you for the ones that are joining me. If you're joining me from TikTok, I appreciate you so, so very much. The overwhelming um, response over there and the support, I am overwhelmed. Thank you so, so much. Um, but if you haven't joined me there, and if you have a, an account, feel free. It's the same name, Queen Wolf Tarot. Today we're doing the love reading. Excuse me, hold on. Sorry about that. Um, today we're doing the love reading. Um, I hope you guys caught the general reading. Also, I'm going to be doing the work and money. Now, I don't know if for Saturday, um, I mean for Friday and Saturday, I might be doing the who's coming towards you. I feel like I'm going to change that topic. I did put the topic out, I think it was two, two or three times. But I feel like I'm going to change it. So, But if anybody has any other suggestions or you don't want me to take that off, feel free to leave the comments down below. And let me know. But I feel like I'm going to take that one off. Okay? I'm just going to do the generals, the love, the work and money. And then I'll think about what are the topic that I will put for another video. I do want to do the zodiac signs. But I'm going to be honest, those, those take a lot of time. And then... Since I'm on TikTok live and I'd be on there for, you know, sometimes until 4 in the morning. Five, it is very difficult for me to put out videos and, um, you know, still feel energy to do it, okay? So, but I'll, I'll, I'll stick out. I'm going to try to see if I can still do the Zodiac signs, even if it's once a month, okay? But don't stick me. No, no, don't, don't, don't quote me on that. <laughs> Just in case, all right? But, uh, guys, because, you know, you're my wolf pack and I appreciate y'all so very much always for your support. So, whatever we do, we're going to do, all right? All right, so let's clear the negative energy around us. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, this is the black tourmaline crystal. Anyone dealing with mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, any type of pains or issues, let this bring you some healing and some protection. Because that's what I'm going to add to it now, protection. And since we are doing the love reading, you know, I always have the rose quartz because this is the best um, um, crystal that you can use. Excuse me for that. Apology. Sorry about that. My hand is very slippery because I had, um, put lotion. But <laughs> sorry about my apologies. But the rose quartz is the best one to put like around your, in a little um, chain or anything or near your heart. Okay. Because it's the best one for the heart chakra. So we have it here on the table. All right. So let's get the cards from my little handy dandy box that I keep them protected my daughter gave me for Christmas I keep mentioning it and I'm gonna mention it all the time okay all right let's see what's coming up in love and you know when the father would up with the romance and then finish it off with the lover's oracle all right so here we go a message please and thank you you have here for my wolf pack one message please and thank you in love you have here for my wolf pack one message in love please and thank you you have here for my wolf pack in love, please and thank you. I want to see if it picks up, you know, try to pick up the energy because I did do a reading earlier for somebody, so I want to make sure it picks up the energy for you guys. So, one message, please and thank you. You have your phone now, we'll pack in love. Let's see, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. all right, one more shuffle. Message, please and thank you. You have your four my wolf pack. One message. You have your four my wolf pack. In love. Okay. So, all right. That's the first one. Second card, please and thank you, because you know I always go with the you know different. I saw it in reverse, so I'm gonna put it in reverse there. Um, because you know I don't do reverses, but when they do come out, I put them. All right. So this goes here, and then you have a bonus. So. Or should I take it? I'm trying to feel it. I'm trying to feel it. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Okay. So, the bottom energy, we start with strength already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you want fulfillment of wishes, if you want things to clear up for you, um, you know, things to get... I don't know. I, I believe I, I, I believe it's cleared up. I don't know what that means for, for anybody here. But for anybody that wants to clear things up, um, I just see somebody 
you know, it could be a Leo or you're dealing with a Leo, but I just feel like someone needs the strength either to speak up or um, to keep going because maybe there's a lot of people thinking here about something that they want to do. Um, I don't know if, if the strength is because all these illusions and all these things that you're thinking about, you know, have the strength that it is going to get look victorious, fulfillment of wishes. Okay, the Ace of Wands was the beginning and then Justice card. So you have beautiful cards here now. It depends what we have here. But I just feel that someone here is maybe building up more the strength or building up more the courage to either say something to someone, like um, to speak up, maybe who wants to step up on the relationship or who wants to um, step up even if it's just speaking to someone and like going on a date if you're single, of course. So, okay, the battles, look at these battles all upside down. Another card that's upside down. Okay, the five of ones this way, usually these battles mostly mostly a lot in your head. Um, or maybe again, now, all these battles, all these things, whoever wants to decide that they're, or they're already decided, either you decided or they already decided what they're really going to do. Like the strength they're building up in order to come forward, again, either step up in the relationship or someone coming towards you that, probably seen you already that knows you or that, not, not that knows you but has has peeped you already has seen you and they want to come towards for towards you okay okay and the four of cups in reverse so this way usually means someone hesitating for to taking love you see how the cup is offered and the person is just sitting there with the arms crossed and hesitating and it's in reverse so it just means that maybe all these battles and all these things of not accepting someone to come in or maybe now um since you have been alone not alone i'm sorry since you have been in the relationship if you're in a relationship at the moment and it's only been in one level i believe again now somebody's trying to step up to the next level all right um but this is for whoever is getting somebody new you know building the strength to go out get out of the shadows you know start stop you know doubting so much in your head and stop you know Accept love, accept love coming to, towards you, okay? And then you have, oof, accept love coming towards you. What am I, what are we talking about? Okay, a new beginning, again, it could be a new beginning in the relationship you're in at the moment, or if it's, this is leaving a situation, I mean, being the, getting the strength to having love to either leave because you're not doing well in the relationship, then this is that leap of faith you have to take now, to have that strength, to leave and feel free, free yourself from certain situations. Okay, well that you don't want to be in, it may not be that that bad, it's just something that you don't want to be in. Now, this also, again, could mean someone coming your way. That's going to make you feel this way. Instead of feeling like this or now down and all this stuff, now it's going to make, they're going to make you feel like that. The bonus card, I didn't know what it was, so, okay, the world in reverse. But the world is mostly, when it's this way, it's mostly ascending and going to, and again, like I said, another level. Um, but... If someone doesn't take that leap, this world card would not be turned around. Because this card came out with it. I said the bonus, right? So taking that leap of faith so your world could turn around here. Maybe this is why someone here is um, repeating the same thing over and over. Or you're in the same situation over and over and you don't change it. You can't, you can't do say the same and expect different results. So maybe this is now taking that leap to get different results. Right? Whether it's in your relationship or whether in your relationship. If you're stuck at this moment mm. all right so let's continue and let's see what are the messages why is the five of pentacles i'm sorry the five of okay what i said stuck i said the five of <laughs> okay magician getting out putting out everything on the table this is someone that's being stuck or feeling stuck in that situation but since I just said this is something that's turning around for somebody here, this could mean a sacrifice that somebody's being made not to be stuck anymore, right? Not to be stuck anymore, especially in your head or, or in their head. Or it could just mean you physically also, like moving yourself into another situation, okay? Five of Cups, please and thank you. Why is it in here in reverse? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune again. Change that. Change that. The death card. I'm done. <laughs> Transitionings, endings, and then going towards something new, something better. Or another level. So this card could mean a lot of things for this year. It could mean um, ending cycles to a lot of all the stuff that you don't accept in your life. 
or this is a new cycle beginning for you again with this new fool feeling free and going into another level in your relationship or in your love life okay here we go what is the message please and thank you okay what is the message please and thank you okay so a lot of people again are stepping up because you are in this relationship with family some of y'all have children together whatever that means or it could just mean again this is going towards feeling free about taking that leap um you might meet whoever you're meeting you now you're going to meet their family or again if you're in a relationship i just heard this real quick if you're in a relationship that you're going to another level and you haven't met parents you haven't met the family guess what that's the level you're going in now someone here is going to meet someone's parents that's a, that's one quick message that i got um but for now, it's mostly like, um, you know, getting together, feeling free, feeling, who knows, maybe the freedom here. If you're leaving free, you're going free out of a situation and going, feeling free, then maybe that's, you're going towards family now. That's the cycle that's happening here, right? All right, so let's go. What's the last line here? Please and thank you. What's the last messages? Okay, the emperor. Someone is very stubborn and not trying to move. But again, the emperor could mean just getting your power back, right? Feeling... Again, the sacrifice that has to be made is someone getting their power back. This to me is like the strength card. You know, um, but more, a little more of a stubbornness. Because the Emperor, I call him a, a hothead. He's stubborn. Okay, but I just feel that it's someone trying, you know, trying to like change things around. And you just want to get in a position that is either stable for you, right? In either with you, yourself, or with a relationship. So someone here is trying to like just get into stability. Everybody wants stability, of course. But I just feel someone here is very, very strong on that. Right, so we have the last message. Okay, the hermit. So this is mostly about stopping, thinking, contemplating of when your next move is going to be. If the cycle is going to start, a new cycle is going to start for you. See the happiness? See the happy card where you're getting towards it? So another another thing is that if you're getting an offer of a step up in a relationship, whether it's marriage, because this could mean marriage, or um, again, with family and all that, this is for you to, you know, again, decide if that's the cycle you want to get into. The hermit right now, or somebody here is in a hermit mode, which they're being alone, they're alone at the moment, and right now the wheel is here because it's about to change for you. Someone is not going to feel alone anymore, not going to be alone anymore. Last but not least, Okay, you're not gonna be alone. So again, whatever obstacles you may have put yourself in, or someone else has made, have gotten you in these uh, with these obstacles, this is mostly to get out the shadows. Like I keep saying with this card, get out the shadow. You're gonna be seen, or maybe whoever has kept you in the dark, or has kept you not in the dark, but has kept you um, secret, secret. Not also either, but I'm saying that you haven't met family. This is, I believe, coming out now to meet family. So that's one message. Now this also can mean whatever you've been dreaming of with the person, the, the ring, the job, the house, everything is gonna come. It's, everything's gonna come for you. You know, of course it's patience that has to be put. But if you want stability in any type of relationship you have, mostly think about the past things that you have learned and not, you know, um, apply it to the any new relationship that you have. Now, anything, if you're in a relationship, you have anything here that has to be put to rest from the past and then going forward into a next level in your relationship, then that's also, you know, all these dreams, all these things you manifest is coming into, you know, reality. How's that? All right. So let's get the um, romance, please. And thank you. I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is, so be it. I still got my beat up cards. I'm supposed to be getting the new ones in the mail hopefully soon so i will, I will re be replacing these um beat up cards <laughs> but i feel bad because these are my favorite all right here we got one message please and thank you you have here for my wolf pack for this reading one message please and thank you you have here for my wolf pack for this reading okay heart to heart conversation i'm done <laughs> then i say put everything on the table talk you know maybe it's family again you're probably gonna have honestly discuss your feelings with each other all right so you're going again you're going towards stability or maybe that's what you need to have right now if you if if you're in a relationship but if you're not 
then the heart to heart conversation could be if someone's speaking up to you, you know, like somebody's coming towards you, or you're you're the one that wants to ask somebody out. Hello. All right. So here we go. What are the message? Please say thank you for this reading. What are the message? Please say thank you. Oh, you got two of them here, and it says express your love. I believe that's the one you need. That is the one you need because I did say express your love. Didn't I say with the strength card also, right? With the strength and look at it there again. I said with the strength card, it look it popped out. I'm done because I was looking to see what's on top here. But um, so that heart to heart conversation that people heart to heart is just you two. I believe that family, anybody that's involved, keep those away. Keep those away. All right. Express your love. Go ahead and make the room romantic gesture you are that person boom and then you have here okay reconciliation but it's in reverse reconciliation but it's in reverse so i don't know again this is not for somebody that's coming for your past somebody that you're in with right now at the moment or which you're going to a next level or this is somebody new it's not somebody um from the past all right so let's see what's the outcome Please thank you what is the outcome excuse me Okay, the outcome is you deserve love whether you in a relationship at this moment right um and you're going to a step step up to another level you deserve that right but vice versa now if you're in an, if you're trying to get some uh, somebody in, in your new life love life then hey you deserve love okay so i want to see what is the advice on playfulness and let go of control issues <laughs> for whoever this is it says to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine allow the situation to unfold naturally for who this is for the one who is already in a, in a relationship right that's the advice all right my loves and then attraction is the bottom all right so let's see what the lovers oracle say um we're just gonna get one i'm just gonna get one i heard one in my head all right so here we go one message i ask that this message bring blessings to everyone involved so is so be it. One message, please and thank you. You have your phone on your pack for this reading. One message, please and thank you. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I said one, but they gave me two. Psst. Psst. Look, passion again. I'm done. Well, passion is 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 attraction also, right? Uh, magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So again, either you're stepping up in the in the relationship or someone is coming towards you with passion. All right, last but not least, sexual union. Ooh, <laughs> another place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there will be there will, you will find true bliss. I love it, true bliss. But hey, if this resonates with you, you take it with you, you put it in your pocket. If it doesn't, you leave it behind for someone else to fill their pockets. Okay, so take care now. Love and light. Bye-bye.